Hey lawyers, today's video is how much should you spend on law firm marketing and advertising? Welcome to my Zoom room. Mary Carey again here, your digital marketing director specializing in legal marketing for small law firms and big law firms and medium-sized law firms who represent individuals. If that's you, you're in the right place. In today's valuable video content, I am going to talk about what platforms are being used for successful law firm marketing and advertising. I'm also gonna talk about the time that it takes to create successful ads, and I'm gonna talk about what you're gonna pay for advertising. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you three good reasons to get started right now. So before I jump into this topic, I just want to thank you so much for being here. Every single week, about a little over 2,000 of you guys, sometimes more than that, kind of fluctuates, open my emails where I send these um, video blasts. And I just really want to thank you for spending your time with me. Most of you don't actually watch the video. You mostly read the content, I think. The emails get open. Um, but sometimes it's better to watch the video. Sometimes it doesn't really matter, but today's video doesn't really matter. So if you're just reading it, that's totally fine too. If you ever want to reach out to me and have a Zoom call, this is what it looks like. Here's where I'll be. And also sometimes I have law firms that just say, oh, how could you help me? And I'll just send them a video like this one where I'll go over their assets. I'll check their websites and see everything that they've got going and give them some ideas. So if you need ideas or just want to reach out to me, I love talking about legal marketing. I've been doing this my whole life and I love getting to know you. Okay, so let's jump into this content. What goes into getting a steady stream of clients for years to come? Well, there are only so many avenues nowadays. Let's just break it down to four avenues. TV and streaming, Google, YouTube, same company, TikTok, and Meta. Meta, which is Facebook and Instagram. Each of the online platforms have a free version and paid ads. Google has Google My Business, Maps Listing, which is free, YouTube, which is free, uh, TikTok has free accounts, and so does Meta, which is Facebook and Instagram, the free part of it. Then each of them have these paid advertising platforms which function very differently. And in my experience, the paid platforms work best when you go really deep and use their expert mode. Uh, otherwise, I don't see you getting too many clients that way. Anytime you see a version of these that is the easy version, it may not work. So in order to talk about the cost of advertising, I first need to talk about how much time it takes uh, to work on your advertising. So in some past videos, I've shown that AI can really speed up your time working on paid advertising and creating media considerably if you're very careful using it. I've done a lot of videos about that and you can find those videos, you can find videos about all kinds of content that I've created because I've been creating these um, content videos for you guys for many, many years. Just go to gomediamarketing.com and click on the tab that says tips since 08 and just do a search. You can find stuff about everything in there. But in general, to create all your media, manage and update your website and handle all your advertising, if, you're, if you've got people that are really good at it, it takes them about 72.5 hours a week. So if you're having two people do this work in-house, like a marketing director um, would probably cost you about 120,000 a year, and then a marketing associate, someone who doesn't quite know as much about it, maybe around 65 yearly, depending on where you live. Agencies that I might consider our competition who do the exact same kind of things that we do, maybe not even with as much uh, experience as we have, will charge you about 6,000 monthly to handle all of the work. And this doesn't include what you'll be paying to the platforms or what it costs a lot of time just to create your initial media blast, you know, so you might have to spend something outside of that to do your video production, uh, just depending on what your strategy and your approach is gonna be. So let's talk about how much you should spend to these platforms for advertising. I've had law firms that spend 250,000 monthly on Google ads and as little as $250 a month. For a small to mid-sized law firm, I would suggest that you're spending a minimum of 12,000 monthly on advertising and be sure 
that you're not throwing your hat into the ring with someone or some agency that doesn't have experience or literally you could just be throwing that money away. Remember, when marketing is done right, it doesn't cost you anything. So when I'm saying 12,000 a month, you should be making way more than that with the right marketing agency. So make sure that you start out testing with a budget that's as small as you can at first. And then once you see that it works, you can ramp it up to that 12,000 or whatever you're comfortable with. So let's finish today's video with three really good reasons to get going on your advertising. The first really good reason is that when you work with a firm like mine, we want to keep you happy and getting as many signed clients as we can get for you for as little as possible. That's, you know, our job security. If we can be, get you signing clients for $3 each or whatever, you're going to love us and we'll have a relationship with you for a long time. We're literally aligned with you and have the same goals as you have. The second good reason you want to get going on your advertising is that it takes time to get all of this stuff set up. Usually it takes three to six months to get all of the parts and pieces working smoothly. And the third reason that you're going to want to get going with your advertising is that you can always ramp it up or turn it down as needed with online advertising. It's not like uh, the old days of sending out a postcard and the postcard is just out there and you're either getting a flood of people or you're not. You literally, in real time, you can just turn it off if you need to. You can pause your ads. And once you find a winning strategy, you can also ramp it up and put more money into it and get more clients. We're a boutique agency that only works with law firms who we truly love working with. We're like a family. We have to be able to communicate with you guys on a regular basis, keep you informed, go back and forth. And we like to have fun and enjoy our work, you know, and enjoy you, enjoy getting to know you and how you run your law firm. You know, your life's work is law. Mine has always been helping lawyers. And we take this really seriously. I had a friend, Bob, who didn't get the right lawyer to help him when his wife was killed by a drunk driver. And on the side of the road, he, as he was going into a coma, he asked that I take care of his children for him. And we're still really good friends, but I only wanna work with lawyers that will take a case like that to the mat for guys like Bob. Bob's lawyer did not take it to the mat and he suffered ever since. So if you need help creating your winning media or online advertising, sometimes we have room for a couple more law firms. And as of right now, we charge about half of what our competition will charge you. And if you're a law firm that truly cares about your clients, well, we're going to love you twice as much. Anyway, reach out if you have questions. Let's have a Zoom call and see if we have room to get started. And you can come and join me in my Zoom room. Okay, thanks so much and enjoy your day.